What does this look like? Just looks like an AI generated image of a panda, right? But actually it's AI generated malware hiding in panda images that results in a persistent Linux threat. So Koski, forgive my pronunciation, a sophisticated Linux threat shows clear signs of AI assisted development, likely with help from large language models. With modular payloads, evasive rootkits, and delivery through weaponized image files, Koski represents a new breed of persistent and adaptable malware built for one purpose, crypto mining. It is a warning of what is to come. So this is from Aquasec. Their blog goes into a lot of detail showing you how the attack is launched initially. So remote code execution on misconfigured Jupyter Labs. And then images are downloaded from legitimate places. So storage platforms such as free image, post image and OVH images. What they're doing is delivering code through an image because they are doing their payload delivery via polyglot abuse. This is not steganography, but rather polyglot file abuse or malicious file embedding. This technique uses a valid JPEG image with malicious shell code hidden at the end. The whole idea with polyglot abuse is if you look at the image, it's just gonna look like a normal image. But if an application loads it, it's gonna execute payloads. It's a dual use file that evades detection by blending image data with executable payloads. So this is what the payload would look like. So this is the image file with initial bytes as JPEG, ending in executable shell code. The whole idea here is you could have a single file as an example, if you run it on Windows, it would run the Windows installer. But if you're using a Java application, it would run a Java installer. Now a file is a valid polyglot file if it can be successfully interpreted by multiple interpreting programs. For example, a PDF zip polyglot might be opened by both a valid PDF document and decompressed as a valid zip archive. To maintain validity across interpreting programs, one must ensure that constructs specific to one interpreter are not interpreted by the other and vice versa. These have been around for a long time and have been used in hacker culture since the 1990s. We have an AI created image, but it's a polyglot image file where it shows as an image when you view it, but when an application runs it, it's gonna run malicious code. Notice a web hosted image contains malicious C code or malicious shell code that does something on the targeted system. As an example, downloading crypto miners. 